We did pick up two more named storms just in case you miss this over the uh, the weekend. We've got Hurricane Danielle, which formed late last week, and then we've got Earl uh, now, which is north of the islands. This is Tropical Storm Earl, and then we've got a, a pretty decent wave that is coming off the coast of Africa there. Let me show you the, the latest on the forecast tracks, and neither of these storms are going to be impacting us. Hurricane Danielle continues to move away from the eastern seaboard. Uh, Earl, which is a tropical storm right now, is expected and forecast to become a major hurricane, uh, but you can see it's moving north northwest still very slowly, but eventually expected to curve north and east. All right, let's talk about our weather here for the Labor Day holiday. So uh, yesterday, these are radar indicated rain totals, and you can see I've got some of the highest totals plotted on this map, and so we saw a tremendous amount of rain in some very localized areas. It was not too widespread, uh, but where it did occur, it, it did cause some instances of flash flooding. Now these are forecast rain totals for today through Tuesday. And so in some spots, one to two inches, maybe even some additional three to four inch amounts and perhaps even isolated higher than that. So if we get those and those do verify in some of these spots, that could cause some additional flash flooding concerns. And so because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for much of central Alabama through seven o'clock later on this evening, basically includes just about the entire area, the exception some of our southwestern counties. Our three minute advantage this morning, we started off with a little more rain just a short time ago, and now looks like it's kind of shrunk in, in size. There's still some rain ongoing, although it's pretty light here in north and west of 5920 where we did get hit pretty hard yesterday up into parts of Cherokee County. There is still a flood warning ongoing here uh, just a few hours ago. The EMA out of Cherokee County was indicating that roads along Highway 68 are still impassable and so that uh, flood warning will stand up and through uh, through noon today. Some heavier rain back through parts of Lamar and Marion counties where it's coming down a little bit harder there. Temperatures today should climb into the low and mid 80s. I don't think coverage will be quite as high as it was yesterday. I do think there'll be some breaks in the rain, about a 60% chance as we get into this afternoon, but you'll notice on the future cast again, once we get into this afternoon, some of those heavier downpours certainly could train over some of the same areas and cause those flash flooding concerns in spots. Tomorrow and Wednesday, rain chances drop, therefore temperatures will get a little bit hotter. Sarah. All right, Steph, we have a couple of incidents to tell you about this. One